Hello, my name is Dragon, and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase. And today video, I'm going to be showcasing the Pokeball mod, which, yep, you guessed it, adds a Pokeball into Minecraft. So, let me show you guys how to craft the Pokeball first of all. So, it requires three redstone on the top, coal on either side of the middle, uh, with a button directly in the middle, and then redstone on either side, and that gives you a little uh, a little Pokeball, just like that. So, that's pretty cool. It's, uh, you know, not too expensive, it's kind of expensive. And uh, basically what it allows you to do is, if you right click uh, to throw it, you can pick up the mob which you threw it at. So we now have a cow. Now of course, we all know how uh, much cows suck, so uh, let's just forget that that ever happened. Alright, now we're going to actually get this one that I made earlier, and we're going to actually test it out a bit more. So if we get a wolf, for example, and uh, we right click to throw it, you see we have now caught the wolf and if I right click to throw it again we respawn the wolf now that's pretty cool for transporting mobs however there are a few issues for example if I do actually tame this uh, this wolf and I throw it and then I uh, throw the uh, throw it again you'll see that he isn't actually tamed again and similarly if I spawn a sheep over here and you know I die in blue and then we catch him with the pokeball and uh, then we throw him again, you see, he is no longer blue, he is just a default sheep. And if we head back over here, just for a one more example, if we spawn ourselves a charged creeper, and uh, we throw it to catch the creeper, there we go, when we, where was it at, there it is, when we respawn the creeper, he is no longer charged, which kind of sucks. Oh no, don't, don't blow up my Pokeball, don't blow it up, don't blow it up. Okay, there we go. He made a bit of a mess. Now you might be thinking, well, that well that kind of sucks. It doesn't save all the data values for my different mobs and stuff. But you have to think about how useful this can be if you, for example, find yourself a village uh, like ten thousand blocks from your home, and you're like, well, I want to have like a little village near my own home. Well, just get yourself, uh, you know, two pokeballs, and then you can catch. Uh, oop, yeah, there we go. You can catch yourself uh, some villagers and transport them all the way back and set up your own village in your very own home and do uh, lots of trading and stuff. And similarly, if you find yourself a super rare mushroom biome, oh, you're so beautiful, then this is a absolutely superb way of transporting, whoa, what? <laughs> well, that was a fail, I kind of forgot that I had that guy there, of transporting mushrooms all the way back to your home. So, you know, you can just travel like a billion blocks away and then get yourself your own little mushroom farm set up, aren't they beautiful? But yeah guys, that is basically the mod, it's kind of a small mod, but it's pretty damn awesome and pretty useful nonetheless. I Obviously I do think that it would be improved if uh, it saved all of the uh, independent da data values for all of the different mobs and stuff so that you could transport like dyed sheep, tamed wolves, that kind of thing. But yeah, that is it anyway, so if you enjoyed this much, showcase, please do consider leaving a like down below. Look at me, how cute am I with my little, uh, my little tulip. But no, diamond holes are better. But yeah, guys, my name is Jack, and I shall see you guys next time.